What's going on YouTube? This is Ultima High Device Vids, and in this video I wanted to talk to you guys about the jailbreak status for 8.2 and 8.1.3 some more. So uh, in another video that I made back when 8.2 was first released, I did the same thing, but I wanted to give you guys a new video, just give you some more news regarding the, the jailbreak for, again, 8.2 and 8.1.3. There has been some new news going around, and I just like to cover it all and just, you know, tell you what's going on right now and what you can expect. So let's get right into this. So the first thing I'd like to talk to you guys about is the TIG jailbreak team, which is the team that brought us the 8.1.2 jailbreak. They are holding a mobile security summit on March 27th. And basically what this is, is it's the Chinese version of JailbreakCon. And JailbreakCon is something that we have here in the U.S. It's where jailbreak developers, you know, hackers, anything like that, even just fans like myself go, you know, meet in person and just chat. And I've attended several of those events. They're a lot of fun just to see everybody in person. And basically the Taiji Jailbreak team will be creating one of those for Chinese users. And they've been tweeting a lot about it, as you can see right here. And famous developers and hackers will attend from you know, previous jailbreak teams as well. And just to let you know, this event is being held on March 27th, uh, 2015 in Beijing, China. And that is next Friday. As you can see right here, uh, Comax, POSIX Ninja, Chronic, Pimskex, and of course the Taiji team will all be at the event. And for those of you guys who don't know these people, Comax is somebody who's been around in the jailbreak community for a very long time. He's, you know, helped with various jailbreaks. And uh, POSIX Ninja is somebody who's been a member of the Chronic Dev team, which is an older jailbreak team that brought us previous jailbreaks. Chronic is someone who's been involved in the community for a very long time. Pimskex is a member of the Evaders team. And of course, again, the Taiji team will be there. And of course, various other people as well. And if you're wondering what the significance of this is to the jailbreak for iOS 8.2 and 8.1.3, it could theoretically, you know, they, they could release a jailbreak at this event, the Taiji team. However, you know, that's all speculating. There's no confirmed, there's nobody confirming that this is going to happen. However, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. It makes sense that they'd release a jailbreak at this event. Or, you know, maybe they're so busy with this event that they wouldn't have time to work on a jailbreak. So a lot of people are saying that it's probably going to come out that, come out at that event on March 27th. However, you know, it's all just guessing and speculating. So... I can't really say anything, you know, conclusive about that right now. We're just going to have to see on March 27th. However, again, I would not be too surprised if it were to come out at that time. And as far as the Taiji jailbreak team, that's really all we know about, you know, regarding iOS 8.2. And as far as other people working on this jailbreak, I suppose the Pangu team could be working on it, which is the team that brought us the 8.1 jailbreak, or possibly even the Evaders, which brought us the iOS 7.0.x jailbreak. However, I doubt the Evaders are working on it because from what I've heard just going around the internet, it doesn't seem like they're working on any jailbreaks as of right now. But I think the Taiji jailbreak team does have us covered as well as, again, possibly Pangu. And of course, you know, if any jailbreak is released, you know, whether it be at this event, any other time by anybody, of course, I'll be sure to let you guys know with a new tutorial here on my channel showing you guys how to do that. So stay tuned. You know, as of right now, again, all we really know is Taiji is holding this event. And, you know, we could possibly see a release then, possibly not. I wouldn't be surprised because, you know, it does make sense. However, I also wouldn't be surprised if um, they didn't release one because they're so busy working on this event. So, again, we're just going to have to see about, you know, the iOS 8.2 and 8.1.3 jailbreak. Again, I'll keep you guys updated here on my channel. And next, I want to talk to you guys about iOS downgrading. So... As of you know, basically, as of lately, you know, over the past few years, the only way that you would be able to downgrade your device from one iOS version to another would be in that short period in, in which Apple releases a new firmware when, when the previous firmware is still installable for, again, that very short window of time. So whenever Apple releases a new one, they allow the old firmware to be installed, you know, downgraded to for a short amount of time. However, in the past, back on iOS 4 and earlier, this tool by the name of Tiny Umbrella, if you saved something called your SHSH files for you know, the iOS version that you want to downgrade to, you would be able to downgrade to it at any time if you had those files saved for your specific device. So SHSH files are not something that could be just downloaded from the internet. They are specific to every individual iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. That's extremely important that you know that. And SHSH files are only available to fetch, so you can basically only get them if Apple is signing the iOS version that you want 
uh, to save them for. So Apple has to allow you to install the iOS version that you want to save the SHSH files for in order for you in order for you to save the SHSH files. So for example, right now the only SHSH files that you're able to save are 8.1.3 and 8.2. So basically, the program Tiny Umbrella has been revived from the dead. However, do not get too excited because it does not function just yet. It does allow you to save your SHSH files so you could save them. However, you cannot actually use them just yet. And basically what happened, what changed after iOS 4 was Apple put up an extra security barrier that prevented people from just using the SHSH files for, uh, you know, since iOS 5 and above. You not only need the SHSH files, you also need an, an additional iOS exploit, so something else in conjunction with the SHSH files. And the developer of Tiny Umbrella, by the name of Notcom, he has hinted that there will be a new downgrade method, so a new exploit that allows you to downgrade with SHSH files in the future. So that's very promising for downgrades. So here's something that the developer tweeted, as you can see earlier. He says, admittedly, Tiny Umbrella won't be able to downgrade you yet, but saving your SHSHs is relevant again. So that's great. It sounds like we're going to be having a downgrade exploit in the future as long as you have your SHSH files saved for the version that you want to downgrade to. Now, as of right now, this isn't useful because, you know, obviously Apple is no longer signing 8.1.2, which was the previous jailbreakable firmware. So even if a downgrade were to be released right now, you wouldn't be able to downgrade and jailbreak because, you know, you would have had to have saved the SHSH files for 8.1.2. However, in the future, you know, after, let's say, an iOS 8.2 jailbreak is released in the future after that, you know, if you have 8.2 SHSH files, they will be useful because you can downgrade to 8.2 from, uh, from later versions of iOS and then jailbreak. And just for some even further proof, as you can see right here, the developer basically did say up here that, you know, the release is available and what it supports. And then he was asked uh, if blobs will be uh, relevant in the future for downgrading. And he says very much so. And that is, again, a very, very promising thing for downgrading that, you know, he says that very much we are able to, you know, that these are going to be useful in the future. And I'm really looking forward to that, being able to downgrade to iOS versions, you know, if you have the SHSH files saved. So the next thing I'm going to be showing you how to do is save the SHSH file files for you know whatever version is currently being signed as of right now the time that i'm recording this it's 8.2 and 8.1.3 but again that will definitely change in the future so i'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that and also just in case you're wondering the ios version that your device is currently running has absolutely nothing to do with which shsh files you're going to be able to save so as you can see over here my ipod touch fifth gen is on ios 8.1.2 as you can see right there version 8.1.2 and even though that it is on that old version it's still only going to be able to save 8.2 and 8.1.3 because that's what's being signed right now just to let you know however according to the developer we actually will be able to save shsh files for the version that our device is currently running in the future so basically in the future at some point i will be able to save these 8.1.2 shsh files but again not as of right now and i do have another tweet to show you in here and basically as you can see you know someone's asking him if he's going to integrate this feature you know the ability to fetch blobs from device and in the end, basically, he says st stability first. So first, he's going to work on the stability of Tiny Umbrella, and then he's going to integrate, integrate that feature. So it is coming. However, right now, again, you can only fetch SHSH files for the versions that are currently being signed. And all right, I'm going to go ahead and head over to my computer now, and I'm going to show you guys how to use Tiny Umbrella. All right, and here we are. What we're going to be needing on our computer in order to do this is, of course, you're going to be needing Tiny Umbrella, and you're also going to need iTunes installed and Java. So again, you'll need to have iTunes and Java installed in order to do this. And again, of course, you're going to also need Tiny Umbrella. I will provide the download links in the description down below. Of course, the first one is Tiny Umbrella itself. This is the site. Basically, what you want to do is just scroll down until you see these links over here. And if you're on Mac, you're going to select OS X app only, not installer. Same thing with Windows. You're going to select zip, not installer. And again, as I said earlier, you're going to need Java installed, which you can get over here. Here are the download links and iTunes if you don't already have it. And now that we have everything downloaded, you want to make sure that Java is actually installed. So, you know, make sure you actually run this file, install it. Same thing with iTunes, you know, make sure you actually install iTunes. I've done that. And then if you're on a Windows computer, you want to make sure that you right click on the tinyumbrella.zip file and extract all before using it. 
then you're going to be getting this other file over here. So this is the one you want to open. And from here, go into the folder, and then you're going to be seeing the application Tiny Umbrella. So right click on it, and in front of Windows, click Run as Administrator. On Mac, click Open. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to hit Run as Administrator. Then you're going to click Yes. And you're going to be getting this loading bar down here. Uh, just be patient. It'll take a few seconds for it to open up Tiny Umbrella. And here is Tiny Umbrella. So from here, you want to go ahead and connect your device to your computer through the USB cable. So go ahead and do that. And it will take a few seconds for the program to detect your device. Just be patient. And it will eventually pop up, as you can see right there, whatever the device's name is. For me, it's just iPod Touch. And as soon as, it, as, soon as uh, your device does connect, it will automatically fetch all the SHSH files for the currently signed iOS version. So go ahead and select your device over here. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger for you to see it. And as you can see, it just fetched all these right now. And these are the SHSH files for, again, iOS 8.2 and 8.1.3, again, being the currently signed versions at the time of making this video. And again, this is all the SHSH files for the currently signed versions, again, being 8.2 and 8.1.3 at the time of making this. And it does fetch all the different types. As you can see, they're erase, update, OTA. You really, you really do not need to know what that really means. You just need to make sure that you have all these saved. And as you can see, again, 8.2 and 8.1.3, there's various for each. And now you're all set. So now you're ready for future downgrade methods to come out. Again, nothing's available right now. However, you know, they will be coming in the future. And if you unplug your device, uh, you know, it'll still have them all saved right here. And if you want to know where they actually are on your computer, the files, it's basically if you open up your uh, Windows Explorer over here, if you go into your C drive, and then we're going to go to users, um, then whatever your system name is, then go to .tu. And then here, if you go to .shsh, here is the shsh file. They're all conglomerated into one file. So this is great. This is all the shsh files. So you know, after you save them, this is all you need. This is the most important thing right here. All your files, you know, right there inside, you know, this uh, directory. The known devices. This is the device, the iPod Touch that I just plugged in, and pretty much that's it. You know, you really don't need to worry about the system. But for advanced users who want to know where the actual SHSH files are, they're in here. Everybody else, just go ahead and worry about the actual interface. You know, inside the actual tiny umbrella. And that's really all for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are now more informed about jailbreaking iOS 8.2 and SHSH files. And you just know what's going on right now in the world of jailbreaking. And again, that's all for this video. I'll see you guys later.